a video tutorial on strings in Java. What exactly are strings? Strings are a sequence of characters. In Java programming language, strings are used as objects. The Java platform provides a string class to create and manipulate strings. Let's see how to create strings. In this example, the string variable hello string is created using the string class. You can also create string as an array of characters. Let's execute this program. Let us compile this program. So this is how a string works. Moving on to string methods. String has many methods and let's see about the string method length. This method is used to obtain the length of the string. The syntax is variable dot length of. This returns the length of the string. Let us execute this example to find out the length of the string. The length of the string is found out. The next method that we are going to look is formatting methods. You have printf and format of methods to print output with formatted numbers. The string class has an equivalent class method format of that returns a string object rather than a print string object. Using string static format method allows you to create a formatted string that you can reuse as opposed to a one-time print state statement. Let's work out this example. As you see, there are two uh, examples given. One is system.out.printf where the example is printed right on the screen. Whereas it, in the other example, the string is stored in another string called fs. Moving on to the next method, the next method is string to string. Syntax for this method is public string to string. This method just returns the string itself. Just for understanding, let's try out this small program to see how it works. The string is returned. The next method that we are going to see is string to lowercase. This method simply converts all the characters in the string to its lowercase. The syntax for this method is variable dot to lowercase of. Let us execute this example. So all the letters here are converted to lowercase. The next method that we are going to see is string to uppercase which is similar to the lowercase but it's opposite but it's just the opposite. It gives the uppercase of the given string. 
here is an example for string to uppercase. Moving on to the next method, let's see about the string concat. This, this method is used to join two strings or more two or more strings. The syntax for this method is public string concat of string s. So let's see an example. Let us execute this program. Here the two strings are concatenated. Moving on to the next method, let us now see about the method char at. This method returns the character located at the string specified index. The string indexes start from zero. The syntax is caret of int index. Let's work out an example to see how this works. In this example, the character at the 8th position is printed. Next, we will see the compare to method. This method compares the given two strings and returns 0 if the strings are equal and negative if the first string is lower than the, and, than the second, else the positive value is the output. The syntax is compare to of object O. Let's execute this program to see how it works. The given strings are compared and as you see it, it produces and puts the relative value. Basically, it subtracts the second string from the first string. Moving on to the next method. The next method is trim. This returns the copy of the string with heading and the trailing the and the white space is emitted. The syntax is string trim off. Let's see how this program cuts the white space out of the given string. Let us execute this trim program. Moving on to the next method. The next method is string value of. It basically returns the string representation of the past argument. You can see the variance of the inputs given below. This program is executed to test this value of method. It prints the original value 
this is an example for the method value of moving on to the next method the next method is split off it has two variants and splits the string around matches of the given regular expression like see this example that we are going to execute Let us compile this program. The value is returned. Moving on to the next method. The next method and the last method that we are going to see is the method substring. It returns the substring of the given string. This substring begins with the character at the specified index and extends to the end of the string or to or up to the end of the string. Let's see the example for this program. It prints the substring of the given string seminar. Let us execute this program. First, it gives only the start of the string, so it prints the seminar. The next variant gives both the start and end of the string position, so it prints the substring semi. So we are done with mo all the string methods and these are the main string functions in Java. String is a class in Java and we have learned about most of the important string methods and or the uses of strings in Java. Thank you.